Yeah, welcome back. You're still watching Simply Showbiz right here on TV3. I mentioned earlier that when we get back, I get to introduce my guests so we get talking. Now, um, today we're talking about two major things. That is um, who wins what, who wins the ultimate at this year's uh, three music awards. And then also finding success internationally in the music space. Now, let's also uh, quickly let you know who we're having this conversation with. Starting with Sammy Flex. Now, he is a showbiz analyst, also the CEO of Sammy Flex TV. Yeah, yeah, what's that? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I missed yeah. you. I, like that. <laughs> I don't know why he keeps on giving me this tag, but uh, no, uh, also, I, I don't want us to get into that. Also, <laughs> joining me is by the edition while parting. She is a, so, a showbiz critic, she's a spokesperson mm -hmm. for three music awards. Vida, mm -hmm. you're welcome. Thank you. you. Have you have you know sidelined us for a while? I haven't, I haven't. Work, 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 yeah, yeah. 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 And also, you know, I know, right? Also, joining me is DJ Alodia. He's an, an event organizer, also the CEO of Alodia Promotion. So you're welcome. Thank it's you good to finally much. have you be here because I've heard a lot about you. <laughs> you know, the, the plugs, the links and everything you've yeah. been making or making it happen for our artists. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to Thank you. That's you amazing. Now, um, we will start with you, Vida, because okay. three music is happening today. Right. Um, you are the spokesperson. What should we expect at this year's Music awards. Okay, uh, the focus ideally is to reward deserving artists, mm. and we do that by putting the nominations out, and we want others to also contribute in who they think should be the artists of the year, mm -hmm. what song should be the collab of the year. So we're looking out to you know, we know that you guys will make the good choice by voting. So <laughs> <laughs> we present whoever you present to us is what we present to you as your right, as right. your as your best of the best. But our, our other focus is also on quality entertainment, mm. making sure that even as we're giving awards, you at home, you in the auditorium, have that feeling, quality production, the sound, the kind of performances that are pieced together. So it's just two focuses that we are, we're having this evening. Mm. Quality entertainment lays with quality production and then rewarding deserving artists. Mm. Let's talk about the preparations, you know, uh, mounting to today how has that been for yourself and the team i mean for me it's the first time that i'm speaking for a scheme i've always been on the other side criticizing and <laughs> analyzing <laughs> yeah. so uh, and having the opportunity to be in the board sessions gave me an idea how this thing actually looks like i mean a lot of work goes into uh, what we do in the boardroom before we finally come out with the nomination i appreciate the work that the board do so much after being through the drill. It was about 12 sittings or so, mm -hmm. and then we finalized in Akosombo, mm. and then we came back, dropped the nominees. We had the women's branch. We had music video directors program where we pulled 10 local music video directors together. We trained them, and they will also shoot a video for Adina. Mm. You know, we are a pro female or pro woman kind yeah, of scheme so yeah. we chose adina and then we came through to the fan fest i'm sure lots of people are disappointed the fan fest mm. didn't happen mm. before yeah. the actual show what i have to say to them is that we have another plan we we are making it a celebration concert instead of just a nominees jam okay. that people are used to because we realized after last year that after the performances and everything people were yearning for more so we decided to you know twist it a little bit this year so that after the quality performances that you're about to witness tonight, mm -hmm. you also brace yourself for another concert oh. that will be like a festival, a okay. music festival. So, yeah. Now, so with, with, with awards such as these, a lot of people are looking out for who is hosting who at what point. You know, the red carpet, yeah. the main events. Who, who are hosts? Who are okay. we looking at? So, uh, for the, we call our, our carpet the drip carpet. The drip carpet. <laughs> yes. So, we have something special coming up tonight. We have something we term the pre-show. Okay. The pre-show will have about four hosts, Miss mm. Jean, Victoria Lebene, uh, Bless King, and Jackie. Jackie. We'll have a mini concert out there with an outdoor audience. Okay. Mm. Before we step into the actual dealings. Mm. So the drip carpet is infused in the pre-show. I see. Okay, so you get to see the glamorous dresses, the designers, and all that. And just before your favorite artist moves to the other side, there's a performance. Mm. There's an outdoor mm. crowd cheering. Mm. So we are gingering you right from the, get the, 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 the gate before you get inside. I see. Now, we also have the flavor room where it's kind of an extension of the drip carpets. The conversations go a little bit further than what we have 
on, on, on the drip carpets. The drip will focus mainly on, you know, how you're looking you look fly like, and yeah, who yeah. you're wearing and all that. And when you come to the flavor room, we have a few comedians who also piece a few jokes here and there yeah. to make conversations flowing. And then mm. you get to enter the auditorium, a coffer mind blowing i have goosebumps anytime i want to talk about this <laughs> because i was at the rehearsal and the kind of pieces that the creative directors were putting together charlie tonight tonight mm. i mean tonight crazy even if you don't have musical talent you start praying for one mm -hmm. so that one day you can also step on the stage That's like stage. three music Akofa, can you imagine Three stages in one auditorium. Tell me about it. Charlie. And you're feeling your first stage hands. I'm gonna be in a few stages so the next performance is happening. Mm. Just on the get go. Pa, 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 Charlie. Pa, pa, pa. Tonight. When speaking Brace of yourself. tonight, what time is the event starting? Okay, so it's seven thirty PM uh, from the pre show mm -hmm. and then you move into the drip carpet and then the flavor room. So seven thirty Stay glued to TV3 because you guys are, will, be, will be telecasting live. That's amazing. Yes. That's amazing. Yes. And I know you've already talked about, oh, that's going to go down. But mm. what would you say to someone who is not planning on showing up at the event tonight? I mean, there are two ways. Uh, our kind of entertainment is not the kind that you feel lost when you're at home. You may be at home, but you may feel engaged as a music lover as though you are in the auditorium. So we are encouraging them. I mean, some people have, you know, if you want to do things that toe the line of the kind of production that we do, you should be there to kind of experience it and appreciate it more. Mm. But if you are just a music lover, laid back, want to sip on some wine and stay at home, mm. you mm. equally feel as though you are in the auditorium. Okay. So it's a win-win situation. Right. Yes. <coughs> Let me come to you, Sammy Flex, mm -hmm. and let's uh, talk about the artist of the year. So that uh, in this category, that's three music awards. There's Black Sharif, there's Celestine Donko, there's D Black, Kitty is in here, Kwame Eugene, Mr. Drew, Sakodia, Stone Boy, and there's Jackie. Hmm. Tough one, nah, tough yeah. one to call. First of all, let me also commend the organizers of three mm. music awards. Personally, being a board member, I know the work that goes into the preparation. And three music awards came at a time that. COVID was disturbing events. And that was when the guys showed the world that, yeah, we can do we can it, do whether it. you give us the crowd or not. So with three music awards, if not for anything, the organization for the main event, they will always give you that blast. So personally, um, I have to keep my birthday celebration on hold and make sure I go to the auditorium to see what yeah. will be I happening I think you can today. tie it in, you know, because it's a celebration. I don't know their plans. I don't want to make <laughs> <laughs> I don't I know their it. plans. I, I don't want to mess their plans. So I'm going there as early as possible. Mm. I have to be there to witness everything yes. from beginning to end. So I can also report about it. Mm. Now, for the Artist of the Year 3 Music Awards, yes. I think my strongest picks will be um, Kitty, mm -hmm. Kwame Eugene, Sarkwadie. These three will be my strongest picks okay. for Kidi, Sarkwadie, and Kwame, Kwame Eugene. Eugene. Okay. Yeah, these three. Uh, no, they, but you know you are a huge advocate of Black Sharif, though. I, I know. I know. Um, as much as I am an advocate for Black Sharif, sometimes reality and being objective mm. also have to come to play. And if I look at the works of the three guys mm -hmm. I've mentioned, as much as Black Sharif made a huge impact in the industry in the year under review, Kiddy, uh, like Kiddy. Mm -hmm. Back to back. Like, like back. back to back. His song Touch It, I'm yet to see that song which became stronger than that song. Mm. And again, the brand Kiddy, the mm. brand Kiddy has never gone down. It has always been afloat. And he's always making sure that the hits are coming. He did everything an artist should do in the year under review. Same yeah. way, Kwame. but even me, give me the chance to maybe pick the strongest out of the three. And I'm sure my last bet will be on Kitty. So tonight, okay. I am waiting for history to happen. I'm right. waiting for him to do it again. Mm. And if he does it, I'll be happy. Okay, Alode, let me come to you and also ask your, you know, expectation moving into three music, but mm -hmm. also get your pick on who you are, you know, taking for um, Artist of the Year. Um, Sammy has already given, you know, three top you know, <laughs> list of his. I don't know why he didn't give me one, but he decided to give me three. That's funny. I'll, I'll leave that in it. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, who are you looking at to go home with Artist of the Year? So, in the category again, we have Black Sheriff, there's Celestine Donko, there's D Black, there's Kiddy Kwame Eugene, Mr. Drew, Sarko Dier, Stone Boy, and Jackie. Whoa. Mm. <laughs> My best will be Sarko Dier and Kiddy. 
Sakodi wow. and Kidi. <laughs> but okay. Kidi all the way. Kidi hey. all the like way. Like Sammy said, Kidi have wept really hard. Mm -hmm. Not even mm -hmm. here, in London. Mm. Wow. I'm telling you, Kidi is the biggest artist. Mm. And even on the show that they had on 6th, 5th March, yeah. Yeah. he yeah. killed it. Mm. The performance, mm. the outfit, mm. stage crowd. Like, the guy, the guy is amazing. He's a complete mm. artist. Trust me, he's not just a singer or a bat. Mm -hmm. When it comes to performance, it's dressing. The way it come on the stage, the mm -hmm. way, like character on the stage, the mm -hmm. way it move around. You can see this guy is, he know what he's doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He knows what he's doing. Let me also come to your general expectations mm -hmm. moving forward into this evening. Because um, Free Music Awards, they've been planning for a while mm -hmm. now, but it all goes down tonight. What are your expectations? Look, I came down because of Free Music. Okay. I'm telling you, yeah. <laughs> I know. I <laughs> came down because of free music. I'm not lying no, to you. So there are things you're expecting. Of Can course. you just it's not, it's not what I know the guy is working so hard. Look what happened last year. Mm -hmm. We all watch it in mm -hmm. London. And what I saw that day, I said to myself, no, this guy is here to stay. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And obviously, we couldn't go and watch it. And I said to myself, this year, I have to come and witness this. Because as award organizer, CEO of Ghana Music Award, I'm sure definitely I'll pick one or two from there as mm. well. So I know it'll be great. You know, I've been seeing it, but I've heard people talking about the stage, like what she said, and I've heard the outside as well. So I just can't wait to enter to the auditorium and see what, what is there. And I know it will be fantastic because okay. if you look at the board members, the team that is working with the guy, okay. they all know what they are doing. They've been in the game for so many years. Mm. They mm. know the game. Mm. So if you've got people like that, I'm always, I always say it's about teamwork. Exactly. If, if you don't have a good team, forget about it. And this guy <laughs> got the team. So they will deliver. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So you had my guest there telling you what to expect at this uh, evening's three music awards. But we're going for a quick music video. When we come back, I'll introduce, um, you know, our guest, Papa, who is an urban gospel um, artist based in the U.S. He will also uh, get a little bit of his take on our conversation about, uh, you know, how people can um, make a mark on the international scene, basically. So take a look. We'll be right back. Right. Uh, you're still watching Simply Showbiz. Now, so that uh, just gone by was a music video by Papa. Now, also, um, he's joining us via Zoom. He's a U.S.-based urban gospel artist. Papa, if you can hear me, how are you doing? Uh, not too bad. Yourself? I'm actually also good. Thank you very much for asking. Um, we will just dive straight in, finding out how things are faring for you as an artist overseas. Um, it's, it's a little bit okay, but um, especially uh, people back home, it's, it's hard to connect. You know what I mean? It, it, it's, it's a little bit challenging because I got a couple of guys over here, like they got some pretty good stuff but how to get it out there for people to support that is that is the issue but so far so good well let's also get a little background to who papa is i know you are an urban gospel artist but aside if you want to know the papa story what is the papa story oh okay um i i, I was born in ghana uh a town called abuna Sudro. So I grew up a little bit over there and then I joined my mom at Medina, Accra. And then um, from Medina, I lived in uh, Kumasi, Pankroni, too. And then from there, I came over here. So basically, my secondary and tertiary education, I had it over there. And then I came over here to, to continue. And then right now, here I am. Trying to attack the music to it too. Yeah, Papa, so let's talk it. about the music side. How did the music, uh, you know, um, venture of yours or career start for you? Because, you know, you've talked about school and everything, but when did you notice that this passion of yours, uh, you know, was present and you wanted to work on it? Yeah, actually, um, my first song, I wrote it around like 1993. Wow. And the first song that I started with, I haven't even finished yet. So, it's it been back and forth, back and forth, but I didn't take it serious. Until like three years ago, a, a very critical incident happened over here with me and my partner. And the truth couldn't prevail very well to the police people, so they took me to jail. So when I, when I was in jail, like for four days, 
within that time, like, I was very lonely. I was very sad. So that sad mood, I think well, around the third day, especially the song that you, you guys just played on your TV, that was the song that I wrote over there. Like, I was, I was thinking about, like, why me? Why this bad thing happening? Why is God is alive? But one thing came into mind that, hey, before God said, uh, let there be light, God himself was in a dark stage then. And he had some thoughts. And the thought prevailed, and that's what we are seeing right now. So I also said to myself, okay, if I'm not doing anything over here, let me try and do something. So I, I, created, I created something in my mind. And when I came out, that is exactly what you're playing right now. Okay, that's a very, a very interesting take right there. Um, Papa, can you hear me? Are you there? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, all right. So let's talk about, you know, the feedback you've received uh, for your, your work so far. How has it been? How would you describe it? So far, I haven't even had a single person who told me the song doesn't sound good. Like, everybody who heard the music was like, oh, wow. So I got to know, okay, then I think me and my, my guys, we are doing pretty good job. So people around me are very supportive and they are encouraging me too. Okay, um, you, you have mentioned that, you know, you did go through, um, you know, a little challenge that is you know when you went to, to to jail now if you're talking about challenge as an artist in the foreign space what would you say some of the things uh you know you've noticed so far the things that are blocking uh, for want of a better expression your success in that space okay my take on that is um we don't get the necessary support from back home that is one. And two, like, I have so many friends out here who had like a dope music, but how to get or how to link up the people back home to promote a song, it's a huge issue. So we don't have the necessary people to link up with. And then like uh, when it comes to a sort of, if, if you're in Ghana, people say, oh, if, if you're in Ghana, that's how you can make it. But if you're not in Ghana, it means you, you, you already left out. Especially, I, I spoke to a couple of guys like Bullet and the rest, and they all gave me the same advice. Hey, if you want to make it big, then it means you need to come back home. But my point is, if you look at Cardi B, Greg, Dems, all, like, nobody has been to Ghana before. Even if they came, they didn't even sing, they didn't even perform. But their songs are all over. So it means wherever that you are, you can still make your life shine. And that's what one thing I believe in, that if people over here, nobody has made it, me, I will make it. Okay. That is one big decision that I have for myself that, hey, no matter what, regardless, whether me coming down there or not, I've put in a, like a massive work. So definitely, I'm gonna push it up so that my people back home and everybody in the group can see what I've done. Okay, so you know what? A lot of the artists down here are also looking to break through over there. But you are there and you are talking about, you know, making it uh, based on the supports that we will give you down here. What, what do you think is not, uh, you know, correlating? Because at the end of the day, a lot of people are also looking for the opportunity you have to be out there with your sound. But we are not getting the same down here. So what do you think is the problem with that? No. I was raised in Ghana. I grew up before coming over here, right? Mm -hmm. So, basically, my DNA is typically Ghanaian DNA. I've, right now, I have like a, 150 songs. And out of 150 songs that I have that are ready, almost about 130 of them, they're all local dialect. They are in three. Just few of them that I got them in English. Now, if you play those songs over here, one, there's some kind of cult like a cultural um, barrier that you need to break. But if you back home and if you play your music back home, 
they all understand, at least majority, about 60, 70% of the population down there, they know what you're talking about. But down here, even if they will listen, they don't really understand. They can't correlate to it. So it's easier to break the language barrier. And then like the, what do you call it? The rhythm, the rhythmic nature, all of them are basically a root from Ghana. So it's easy for you guys to vibe with it than people over here. So if I'm able to build my fan base from back home and I grow it big, then I concentrate over, over here too. English, I can speak English, I, I do English, uh, music in English. Then I just match, match it up and then I bring it out. Okay, thank so you so basically. much, Papa, for speaking to us. We wish you the best and uh, we, uh, we're hoping that, you know, we get to hear more songs from you moving forward. Okay. Thank you for having me. All right. Now, let me come to you, our Lord, here, because you <laughs> have been in the game of promoting artists uh, for a very long time. Mm -hmm. um, let me find out, what do you, if we're talking about how an artist can find success internationally, mm -hmm. what, what should be done? What are we looking at? You know, the guy said something that really makes sense. He said you got 150 tracks mm -hmm. and 130 is local dialects. Local dialect. So he's targeting Ghana. He's doing the writing because he knows that song cannot break through where he is. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. Sometimes people really don't understand. If we talk and we try to explain, they don't get it. But for you to break through internationally, first is your song. If your song is in local dialect, forget about it. A lot of people will say, oh, but this song, Premier Gao, went through, blah, blah, blah. No, it's not like that anymore. You understand? So mm -hmm. for you to break through. Now, the new boys are really doing good. The Afro beat, you can break through with Afro beat, but local dialect, you're not going nowhere. Mm. So you, okay, let me come back to you for, uh, for more. But before I do that, uh, Abeku Santana is a media personality and tourism mm -hmm. influencer. Mm -hmm. He's joining us via Zoom as well. Abeku, if you can hear me, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, let's quickly get into uh, you suggesting some solutions because you've been in the industry for a while. If we're looking at how an artist can gain international success or make a mark internationally, what are we looking at? What do you suggest? <laughs> Well, first and foremost, let me thank uh, my colleagues and wish my brother Sami a happy birthday. Yeah. I've done that on social media already, <laughs> but uh, let me take the opportunity and uh, welcome my brother Alodia and thanks for having me. I think our brother um, Yosin in the States um, clearly outlined you know, the strategy that he's taking, but unfortunately, it's not working out for him the way he's expected it. But there are a lot of avenues. Um, Alodia is one of the biggest promoters in the UK and Europe in general. Um, you see, in this day and age, if you're an artist and um, you want to be recognized globally, you need to have a management that can connect you to promoters across the world. The world has become a global village. You just need to tag into the blocks that will give you the connection or access to certain markets. So they are promoters, they are event promoters in Europe. And as summer is coming, there's going to be a lot of events in Europe. Some are concerts, some are music festivals, some are even musical events like workshops and so on and so forth. So um, we are privileged to the digital world or the digital platform or the digital market, which has emerged as one of the recent avenues or opportunities of making ourselves known globally. But there are other physical human connections that you can, I mean, take advantage of. I remember 2017, I met um, um, a Kevin boy in Brussels, Belgium. I was coming from London and he was also going to either Belgium or somewhere with uh, Black CD. And I asked them, Charlie, what's up? He said, Charlie, there's this festival where they go play. So it means that apart from those digital platforms, there are certain or institutions or entities that if you get connected to, they can give you the opportunity to exhibit your talent or your trade I mean, to that market. So I think um, the music and creative arts industry have had masterclasses in recent times, but I don't know 
who those speakers or those instructors are. We need to get I um, mean, people who have access to the plugs, I um, mean, to the networks that can give us access to those markets. Um, take our brother Afromosis, for instance. He is in Australia. Australia. Australia is a very huge market that love African music, but how many Ghanaians have assessed the Australia, New Zealand market? None. We are always going to Europe and America and Canada, where the competition is very keen and keen and keener and keener. Not only globally, regional, Africa regional. How many promoters do we know in East Africa, Tanzania, Kenya, Rwanda, Uganda? How many promoters do we know in the Southern Africa development community, be it South Africa, be it Zimbabwe, be it Botswana, and so on and so forth? I have been a resource person behind the scene offering this advice to people i remember i was in um, Zan zambia in 2014 and i made a pitch for kaki and kaki went to zambia to perform so if you ask me what are the opportunities it is not just europe and america there are opportunities everywhere you just need to connect to the right people who can give you the access so um, in sum, this is what I can say. So when you say to connect to the right market, do you think that the artists and their management team, then it means they are not doing something right then? Not, not precisely so. I'm saying that there's a lot more that you can do. It means that um, you need to um, explore, you need to discover, you need to find out other opportunities that you haven't. So by, by so doing, you just have to connect to the, the people who can give you access. You understand? Um, I, I am on the program today through the access of Mr. Logic, Papa Logic, and Urai, right? Because they have my contact. Yeah. So in that same way, if somebody is in the voter region and want to get my opinion or issue on this subject, and the person doesn't have my contact, he must go through somebody who has my contact. Mm -hmm. That's the point I'm trying to make. Okay. Right. Um, before I let you go, finally, though, you know, um, when we spoke to Papa earlier, he talked about support, support. If this word support has been, uh, you know, uh, on the table, <laughs> Sami says it has been abused. It's been on the table for a while now. When an artist is outside and talks about support, what, is it that they expect that because they are Ghanaians, it should automatically happen? What, what do, you, do you say to something like that? I think you've even answered the question. <laughs> um, when, when Papa said, we are here and you guys, uh, who knows Cardi B and they are playing. I, I, it's unfortunate that uh, Papa was making that comparison, but I think that was not the best example that he could draw. Um, if you remember this artist, Equia Sewa Bonsu, she's based in Germany. When she released this song, she was in Germany. She wasn't in Ghana, but it became a hit. I mean, Alodia has been in the game for uh, quite some time, and he can attest to the fact there are artists in the UK who made hit song from the UK, and it hit down here in Ghana. You just need to know the right thing, okay, okay. get to know the right thing. Um, the, 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 the music market has become so huge. Look at today, we are getting different subgenres. There are even new genres that are coming. People are creating their own genres. Mm -hmm. So the music promoters have access to a huge bank of music resource. And they decide, they determine the song, the music they want to promote. As an artist, you should know that the music is your product. Mm -hmm. You are a brand. Mm -hmm. And it's an investment so why don't you take advantage of every available opportunity and market yourself mm. than to say that they are not supporting us they are not supporting us they are not supporting us if i mean a dj or a presenter has over 1000 songs to play and you are the 1990 song that he has not yet discovered how is he going to so the same way um uh, papa you're saying came on the show, I um, mean, on, on, on the showbiz uh, program to...
promote himself or to talk about what he's doing, he should find that same avenue or other avenues that will connect him to other programs. Mm. The Sammy Flex Show, you know, the Zion Felix, the bloggers. Today, people are using TikTok influencers to promote their song. Look at Down Flat. Mm -hmm. Okay? Down Flat. TikTokers made it big. You understand? Yeah. So it is not only the traditional way of promotion. Unfortunately, some people are still stuck in the old I mean, methodology, and that is not helping. <laughs> you understand? Um, I've always said that I'm a product of the old school, making myself relevant with the new school. Why? Because I'm actively participating in all the platforms that the new school are playing the game. And that is why I'm relevant. You will only be relevant when you take advantage of the new trend or the new opportunities. So, I um, mean, Papa should take advantage as he is in America. I um, mean, that is the best market that he can even learn the best models mm. from. Okay. Abeku, thank you so much for speaking to us. We really appreciate it. Uh, that was Abeku Santana, media personality and tourism influencer. You're still watching Simply Showbiz. We're going for a quick break. When we come back, there's more with our studio guests. You're still watching Simply Showbiz right here on TV3 where we're talking about how artists can find uh, success internationally. Now, um, Alodia has, you know, giving us um, his take on that, on that. Time. But I want to come to Sammy Flex. Mm -hmm. She's also been in a game for a while. How exactly. do you think, you know, artists can find, you know, their success internationally? Because those out there are also looking to come here those mm. down here also looking mm. to go up there. Mm. What, 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 what do you think we can do? I think Papa has gotten his game right. For instance, when he said that because he's writing in tree, he wants to do more promotion in Ghana. I said, okay, then you know what you're doing. Mm. Because you cannot do tree and be promoting your songs on, say, um, on a foreign platform where most of the people can't even understand what you've written. It's about target. I mean, that's what I say. Anytime you put a pen on paper for your song, you should know this song, mm -hmm. these are the people I'm targeting. That's mm -hmm. why even if you are doing promotion online, you have the option of choosing where you want your song mm -hmm. to go to. So for instance, you want to boost your music video on YouTube. You have the option to choose that. Because my target is in Ghana, mm -hmm. do more of my promotion in Ghana. Okay. Don't go and do the promotion in, say, Ivory Coast or Togo when your target is here. Mm -hmm. As much as he's decided to do high life and the gospel or whatever he yeah. wants to do, and he says, I want to get Ghana, he started well. I don't know who his management members are, but to get your song on a prime time on TV3 at this time discussing you, it is the best thing to do. Abeku Santana also said the same thing that it's about getting the songs at the right places. Yeah. He is there. But to have your song or your music video at this time being premiered on TV3, Simply Showbiz, it is a great deal. After that, maybe something will also catch the attention of another person who will pick it onto another platform. Mm. So he can be there and still make impact here in Ghana if he wants to. It's about how he does it. And so far, Papa has started well. It's my first time seeing him. Um, like he said, he was in jail. So maybe because of that, he was not very active. Mm -hmm. And now, yes, he, he, he was jailed. And he's mm -hmm. now coming into the game. It's good. His music video, so perfect. Um, mm -hmm. I watched just a set of it. I think yesterday I saw something like that online. And I knew that this guy is ready for the business. Mm -hmm. It's about how he will continue to invest. Because if you are new, now the space is choked. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> is uh, looking for the small attention that we all have to share. Mm -hmm. So he has to go hard. If he goes harder, who knows? He might be lucky and mm -hmm. maybe get nominated in a three music awards next year. Vida, <laughs> <laughs> um, I know you. We, we brought you here today uh, to speak on three music, yes. but you are a seasoned pandit, so you get to talk Shall about it? this one as well. So what, 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 Papa, what's your take Papa on this? Papa should be thankful. I'm in a good mood. <laughs> <laughs> because if I was my regular pundit self, mm -hmm. I would have punched a lot of holes in, in, what, he in, 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 in what he said. Mm. I mean, I have an issue with these artists who are abroad. They do not have the time to promote their works. Mm -hmm. Yet they feel the fact that they are there and they are Ghanaians, you should promote them automatically. How would I have known that you have 150 songs if you are not mentioned it? And you said you have some 130 in mm -hmm. mm. So why are you not promoting the chi ones, but rather you feel to flaunt the, the Rolls Royce and the blah, 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 blah over there? And in that circle where they're already used to the flashy things mm. that mm. you're mm. you 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 mm. displaying. He should bear in mind that in Ghana, we have a particular sound that we cannot move to when it comes mm -hmm. to gospel. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's been a transition 
from Adidavi Chamberlain with the flower holding <laughs> times <laughs> to, I mean, look at what Obapa Christie is doing and look at Joe Metal, look at Patience Nyako. I mean, you can feel the transition is just moving. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if you do not follow that sound, that is why we have commercial songs now. Mm, yeah. Mm, Akawa mm. is doing commercial. Uh, mm. If he wants to do like the typical high life that, you know, uh, the target audience will be the 50s and above, they will be there. But he's realized that the youth also have a way they can, you know, move to his sound. They so we're tweaking taste, a little yeah. bit so that it appeals to a lot more people. If he's doing the music for fun, fine. But if it is business, he needs to change his mindset on, on a lot of things. The language thing that my senior here, Alodia, was talking about, I mean, is debatable. Because the video is breaking through the market with Pigeon. Mm -hmm. And even the English that he papa thinks he's speaking, I bet you want say a brofuni be They don't understand that kind of English. I hope I hope you understand. No, you're right, you're yeah, right. there's some Ghanaians in UK. Oka brofwa. Obonibi is excuse me. Mm -hmm. What did you say? Mm -hmm. So it differs. You can be speaking English, but still the English people will not accept your music mm -hmm. because they do not get the accent, the tone, and everything. Mm -hmm. So there is a way that you need to go about with your sound. Mm -hmm. Let your sound speak for you first before you listen to the, the, the lyrics and the other things. That, the Yusun Dus, the mm -hmm. Angeliki Jos. I mean, mm -hmm. we groove to them. I don't understand a thing. So, Charlie, Papa, okay. be thankful. Well, I, you said you're in a good mood. Yeah, yes. <laughs> you're in a good mood. Yes. Yeah, let's take a look at, you know, we have some Ghanaian acts who've also targeted some, uh, you know, markets like mm -hmm. Weala, for instance. Mm -hmm. You know, she, she goes around these festivals, these mm -hmm. concerts. What, what do you think worked for her and is not working for? I don't know if I can ask that, but... She's, it's deliberate for her. You, you can tell, yeah. You can tell it's deliberate for her. What, what, what do you think she's doing okay, right there? So, we are la Kina Isoba, mm -hmm. Afro Moses. Yes, Afro Moses. At 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 yeah. The airline is different. You know, the, these foreign white people, they love that. Okay. Traditional, like, performance and stuff like that. And we got a guy in London called K.O.D. He's a Ghanaian. Okay. Uh, he's part of them. Mm -hmm. He's doing very, very well. If you watch his show, it's full of white people jumping around singing this kind of uh, traditional song so we are uh, the market that they're getting is huge last time at seven first remember i told you you asked me about this o2 can can i use to feel i said yes can i use to can feel o2 mm -hmm. because of the type of music that he's doing yeah, it's, it's okay. different from what kevin boy and these guys are doing he says she says something about the language yeah you know we used to say all oh, this she mentioned two artists that we the system is changed you understand no Afro beats, pigeon, it will break through. What is, what, what is Kina Yusuba singing in? But is, no, it, it, this one is... Yes, the, but it's the same the, white people that are grooving to it. So that, that language that's, thing no, is no, debatable. No, no, no. It's no, not. No, Alodia. You'll be my senior. It's, it's, I don't, it's not that, I don't no, want to do this. They're not there because of the language, though. But what? They are there because of his craft. Of style, so yeah. I said that your sound must move first before they listen to what you have. The lyrics. That's why it's two different types. You get it. Yusuba line is different. No, seriously. No, I love that. That language thing, David, okay, they make a kiss. David, no, he's singing a pigeon. Pigeon, do they? But yeah, pigeon, pigeon, pigeon is English. Is no, 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 listen. No, no, pigeon no, is not English. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, there is a here, difference listen, between Ghanaian we'll be pigeon and Nigerian. We'll be it's be not here, English. We'll be here and we don't want to learn. We'll say this. Pigeon is broken English. I'm telling you. Pigeon is broken English. But the people you appreciate the broken English, they speak on broken English. They understand. So, but understand. Now, trust me, you see Indian. And a white guy who that who understand every pigeon thing that you say. No, they, no man, I, I, okay. it's debatable. That's what I'm saying. We, we, that's what we it are where we debatable. are right now because we don't want to buy. It. <laughs> if our guys is singing pigeon, yes, Kevin Boy track right now, yeah, mm. we're trying to push it to BBC. The it's going, yeah, mm. it's going through. Mm. Why? Because of the dialect, it's going through. Before BBC will play your song, you have to be eighty percent English. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. I know what you're saying. It's not the dialect, but. BBC, they got their target, they got their where they want to reach. So, if you give them their song, first of all, they will listen to it, they will see the quality and also the, the, the mm. language barrier. Okay, you understand? So, all so this, this is what you've noticed as you know, a promoter. We've of, done of our world. research even before our step down, had about three meetings. And one thing that we are lacking, we don't have pluggers, mm. okay. and that's what we are working on now. If let's say Kevin Boy have pluggers in UK, as soon as they release the song, the pluggers will take it and start plugging it. We should have a pluggers in Nigeria. We should have pluggers everywhere. We're doing good song. Mm. And we don't have the pluggers. Okay. There's another conversation that's been going on for a while where people believe that, you know, artists don't deliberately uh, work with team members who know the game. They pick 
oh, my buddy from school, my so let's just roll together. Do you think <laughs> that at a point has caused, you know, they not really getting correct people to support them, the plugs and all of that? Do you, yeah, is that, that yeah, is that, you need the correct So how do you think, it. they're not getting music professionals, how do you think that that, that can be done differently? Like, because we, it maybe comes with money, they don't it's have money. the money. We're working on it's money. Okay. But okay. we've got some of them here that they say they are rich, they're making money. So why can't they They said they, they were rich. It is, we see, they said they are rich. We see all the time I, on I, social I'm media. Stable, you are shaking <laughs> the No, no, I'm not shaking. I'm not <laughs> mentioning it, but... <laughs> you know that's one well, thing. You don't you want to. You it? don't want to speak the truth. We always try to beat around the bush. How are they going to learn if we don't tell them what is? We need to tell them this is it. Do it. If not, I feel sorry for people that the musicians that are coming because we need. Listen, we're working hard, and you, you see what will happen. Okay. You think uh, whiskey and stuff? They don't put money in pluggers. They pay. You have mm. to pay for them to plug your song. That's their work. That's what they do for living. Mm. So you think they will see them plug your song that they're not getting paid? No. And and I can follow, let me add so this. So before I, I you think add that, that when mm. an artist complains that they don't have the money to you know do the payment for these plugs, like then it means it can be what, a, what it can be a contract. Now what we are coming up with, if you don't have the money to pay, okay, this is it. Sign. We will push you your. Uh, uh, thing royalties, they okay. I'll get 30 percent of the royalties. Okay, I'll get 40. So I'll do the work. Can be done. That's what we are doing right now. I've got three artists. I'm going to sit down with them before I go. Okay, I can push your work. I've seen your work, it can break through. Okay, this is the door. I'll get 20 percent, 40 percent of your royalties, mm. and you can see where the money is coming from. It's all it's there. So okay. if you say yes, let's go, Alodia, we just sign the contract, boom, then we go. Okay, Sammy, you are Yeah, I, I think that before one decides to enter into full time music, they would need some time to learn a little bit. Um, mm. At the moment, music business is just on our tips. You can just stay on your phone and do music business easily because all your, your streaming platforms, yeah. they are all here. <laughs> it is just a matter of people taking time to learn. If you can learn, you can start a music business yourself and maybe as it blossoms, you can mm -hmm. start looking for other people to come support you. For the right people, they are always around. But I think that just as Alodia mentioned earlier, the, pe the money to get the right people is the problem. The problem so yeah. if you don't have the money, learn. Learn and take the task yourself until you become so big that you cannot do alone. By then, you might have gotten something. Okay. Then you can bring in that one person, that second person. Then they can also help you to push you to the next level. But for starters, if you claim you don't have the money, I know there said some people are claiming to have the money. Yes, it is audio world. We see them on social media flaunting money, Who sitting are in other makers. referring to? The me? last guy you saw. <laughs> I think the artists are confused. <laughs> they tend to want to listen to Sami and mm -hmm. Alodia. Mm. But at the same time, there are people in the game who are telling them it's not necessary. Don't do it this mm. way. Don't do it that way. So there's too much confusion. And they tend to follow the ones that are in ma mainstream business doing yes, music yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. so a lot is just an administrative person let me mm -hmm. just you know push him aside and listen to what mm -hmm. the one on stage is telling me now mm -hmm. so that's the confusion that is making them you know not do the right things when it comes mm -hmm. to that but before we go tonight mm -hmm. it is the three music awards we coming happening live at the grand arena, arena. Mm -hmm. please tickets All right, okay. tickets tickets you can grab your tickets mm -hmm. can they just come to the Venue to buy. All right. Mm, Thank you so no. much, uh, Vida. This is just for speaking to us. E he's e a showbiz e critic, also the spokesperson for Three Music Awards, and also our Lord. Yeah, he's an event uh, promoter, um, event organizer, and CEO of our Lord. Yeah, promotions. Also, Sammy Flex, CEO of Sammy Flex TV, showbiz critic. My name is Akofa. Also, earlier, uh, Beku Santana joined us via Zoom as well. My name is Akofa. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks going out to Warai. Yes, if I don't say this, he will kill me. Mm -hmm. Warai, Nafti, and the entire team also thanks going out to millie k garments located in dakuma for my top you can find her on instagram millie underscore k underscore garments enjoy the rest of our programs and have a lovely saturday